With ratings declining each and every year, is it time for the Oscars to shake things up? Hi, welcome back to A Quick Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and today we're going to be diving into a handful of categories I think the Oscars should add to their ceremony to spice things up, to add something fresh, and to reward aspects of movie making that have yet to really be recognized at the Oscars. Now, before we begin, I want to first discuss the fact that I know there's a lot of people who feel very precious about the Oscars. They don't want the ceremony to be touched. They hate the idea of adding new categories. We remember what happened a number of years ago when the Oscars tried to add a couple of new categories. Best, I think, blockbuster film, um, et cetera, et cetera. They were immediately shut down. And I understand people's pushback against adding new categories. Oftentimes when new categories are brought up or people suggest adding new categories, people often say, why should we have a best blockbuster category? Those movies, if they are good enough and deserve to be recognized, they should just be in the best picture category. We hear this all the time. But unfortunately, we also are seeing the quite rapid decline of the Oscars as a television show over the last handful of years. Every single year, it seems the ratings dip lower and lower and lower and lower. And the reality is, even if something has been a certain way for a number of years, it doesn't mean that it's incapable of change and refreshing and updating. And at the end of the day, these Oscars, they're awards. They were made up at one point. There used to not be these categories, and now there are these categories. And so I think there's room for a bit of updating, adding something new, adding something fresh. And as we'll get to in this, in this video, they are already planning to update and refresh in 2025. So we're seeing the, ad the Academy not be as afraid as they were in the past to add something new and something fresh. So we're going to get it into some categories as we get through these, as we go through these, I would love to know in the comments what you guys think. If you think that there should be any categories that should be added, please share all your thoughts. <clears throat> Want to hear them all. Okay. Let's jump right into the first category I think the Oscars should add, which is Best Stunt Ensemble. Now, the SAG Awards recognize Best Stunt Ensemble, and I think this is the category that when people talk about adding a new category to the Oscars, this is the one people tend to bring up the most. Stunt work, stunt choreography is incredibly difficult and is and it is done at such a high level in so many movies and the truth is that especially when it comes to the oscars they do not give genre movies as much credit as they deserve we joke about it how they really only tend to love movies that are period pieces or painful dramatic dramas, and they don't give as much credit to action, to horror, to comedy, et cetera, et cetera. And this category would be a great way for the Academy to recognize action movies and amazing stunt work. There's so many great stunt choreographers and, and, and also actors that perform these stunts in movies every single year. And I think this is a really, like, this is an easy category to add. I don't think there's a lot of pushback against it. I think people want it. And again, it's a great way to recognize big, massive movies because these action movies tend to do very well at the box office. So you can get your big movie stars at, at the show. And it's a industry and an area of filmmaking that just doesn't get the recognition and the credit that they really deserve because what they do is absolutely incredible and is very, very difficult. Next category I would add is best directorial debut. Now, this one is maybe slightly controversial is the wrong word, but I could see there being some pushback. So the Indie Spirit Awards have this category. And I think it's a really interesting one because 
on one hand, people could say, well, if a first time director does a good enough job, they should just end up in the best director category at the Oscars. And you shouldn't have to make a whole other category to recognize a first time director. Also, people bring up the point of if someone does a great job directing a movie for the first time, the Academy may just shove them and put them in the best uh, directorial debut category and not give them the, the recognition in the best director category, which they should get. But I think, I think what the, uh, what the Oscars should be is a platform for great actors and great film makers. And I feel like there's a way to acknowledge and to recognize up and coming stars in the in a way that the Oscars haven't done in a very long time or really ever. Sometimes we'll see actors who are breakthrough actors get a nomination here and there, but very rarely do we acknowledge breakthrough filmmakers um, and filmmakers who are bursting onto the scene. And I think this is a really great category to acknowledge directors who are maybe just getting started uh, and who have like a real vision and a real sense of filmmaking. Um, and I also think it's a great way to showcase because the odds are probably pretty high that these directors making their debut films are going to be younger. Um, and so it's a great way to platform them, frankly. And, and it's a great way to also include more films and get more stuff recognized in general. So I think it would be a really interesting category. Um, I think we would see a lot of interesting filmmakers. I think we'd get more interesting films recognized at the show. But I can also understand why someone maybe wouldn't want this category at the show. Speaking of a category that I'm not sure people want, but I would like to see is best young performer in a movie. There are a number of award shows that recognize this category. I know the Critics' Choice Awards recognize this category, some other shows as well. Here's the deal. Have there been children who have gotten Oscar nominations in the past? Yes. Is it extremely hard for a young actor to be recognized by the Academy? Also, yes. It is very challenging. But on the other hand, there are so many great performances every single year by young performers. These actors who come out of nowhere and just completely shock the world and, and steal the movie. And I feel like they just often go unrecognized. And so I think it'd be really cool to add this category, have it be for under 18 actors and give these kids a chance to get recognized. Um, speaking of, there's a the young actor in the movie Anatomy of a Fall, which is an Oscar movie this this season um, and is a great film. I think his name is Milo. The, the actor's name is Milo. He is so good in the movie. If you've seen it, you probably know. He is excellent. But he's not being recognized at the Oscars I think partially because he's a kid and they just don't view the performance the same as they do an adult. Um, but I think he, he deserves to be recognized in some sort of category. And I feel like every year, whether it's Haley Steinfeld in True Grit or, I mean, there's just so, so many people that you could turn to and say they deserved more with what they gave in their film. So Best Young Performer, I think it would be interesting. I think it would be a great place to um, just expand, just expand and give more recognition to people who deserve it. Speaking of people who deserve it, Best Ensemble is a category I would love to see. Now, the SAG Awards, like I mentioned, they have this category. Now, the Oscars are going to add a Best Casting category in 2025, where they will be acknowledging casting directors, which I think is a is a is a category long overdue because again, casting is incredibly challenging. And when, I mean, we see it so often, especially in TV shows, but also in movies, these casting directors' ability to find the most incredible talent, um, and like really start the careers of so many incredible actors. And so I think adding a casting category is is so smart. I think it's I think it's the the right step forward for the academy, but I also think they should add an ensemble category because 
there's something really cool when you watch a movie with lots of actors when everyone you see is just like acting at a 10 and every single person is pulling their weight and just performing lights out. I feel like this year, I mean, there's a couple films that could probably be in contention, but I feel like Oppenheimer is a film that would win this category because every single person from Killian Murphy to Robert Diane Jr. to Emily Blunt to Florence Pugh, like everyone's acting at a 10. You could also say Barbie, right? Everyone in that film, whether it's Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling or, you know, Michael Sarah and Will Ferrell are all doing an incredible job. And that deserves to be recognized because as much as we make acting out to be kind of this individual game and, oh, we, it, we reward this per particular performance, it really is like a team it's a team game and a movie's only so good or, or it's only as good as the actors and the people that make the film. And I think we all can probably think back to movies we've seen where maybe, maybe the directing isn't as good or the writing isn't as good, but all the actors step up and it makes the experience so much more enjoyable. So I would love to see this category added, though I wonder if because they're adding the casting category, if this one they feel like isn't going to be necessary to add, but we shall see. Okay, moving on. I think they need to add a best voice acting category. Now, do I feel like voice actors should also be acknowledged in like the actual best actor, best supporting actress categories? Yes. Will they ever? No, I don't think so. I, I do not think we'll ever see a voice actor get acknowledged in those categories, but it is so challenging and the ones that do it so well deserve to be acknowledged for that. And I, I don't know, maybe there aren't enough great voice acting performances year in and you're out to acknowledge them every single year. But I think back to like, for example, Bradley Cooper as Rocket in Guardians of the Galaxy. That is such a great voice acting performance, but it's never gonna be acknowledged even though I think some people might argue it's Bradley's best performance ever. Like it is truly so great. Scarlett Johansson in her, another incredible performance, but because it's just her voice, people don't see it the same as they would an actor being on screen. So I know this one's probably a little bit more out there. It's a little bit more, I don't know. It's like more fun. I still think they should do it because there's always so many animated films and voice acting performances every single year. And, and this could be a category where you do combine men and women. Um, so you just have like the five best voice actor performances of the year. So you wouldn't do male, female. I think you would keep it to just like five of the best. And I think, I, I think it's a worthy award. I really, really do. Um, okay, this one maybe kind of goes into the best young performer category. But I also think it's important because it's not age specific and that is best breakthrough performance. Now this one's a little bit challenging to delineate. You'd have to come up with like a set of requirements and rules for what, what is a breakthrough performance. Is it somebody who's never acted in a film before? Is it someone who's ever acted in a certain kind of film or has never had a lead performance? Like th this one's tricky in terms of the actual nuts and bolts of how you would qualify to be considered a breakthrough performance. But I feel like we often see actors at any point in their career, whether they're 40 or 20 or any age, who maybe aren't actors, um, jump off the screen and have an incredible performance, whether it's their first time acting or maybe they've only done TV and never film. Um, and I think it would be a really cool place to acknowledge people who, like, like the, the, the non-movie star performers. Um, and also a place to acknowledge, again, somebody who like, like for example, I think of when Timothy Chalamet really just came onto the scene with Call Me By Your Name. People didn't know who he was, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, this performance is incredible. He was obviously over 18, so he wouldn't have qualified for the young performer category, but I feel like he could have been acknowledged in the breakthrough performance category. Um, so I don't know, this one again is a little bit more, this is harder to define, um, but I think it would be interesting to acknowledge the people who just sort of like take the world by, by, by surprise. I think it would be fun. 
Okay, our final category, the final category that I would suggest is, and the name needs work. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the category be named this specifically, but best low budget film. Again, the name needs work, but I was inspired because the Indie Spirit Awards have a category called the John Cassavetes Award, which basically acknowledges and rewards movies made for a million dollars or less. And I think it's a really, really cool category because it's, I shouldn't say it's easy to make a film when you have a huge budget, but it's a lot easier to make a great film when you have all the resources at your disposal and money and time and the best cinematographers and the best everything, right? And it's a lot harder when you're making a film with very, very, very little money because you have to do so much more with so much less. And so I think it would be cool for them to add a category. Now, I don't know what the cutoff would be in terms of low budget. Is it a million? Is it 5 million, 10? I, I will leave that up to the Academy to decide what number they feel is best. But I do think it would be really cool of the Academy, honestly, to acknowledge these filmmakers who maybe are just getting started or are don't have you know have have made low budget smaller films over the course of their career and don't have the platform and the the visibility of like a Martin Scorsese or a Quentin Tarantino or a Greta Gerwig um, and really give them a platform to like showcase their work because at the end of the day that's what the Oscars is all about it's platforming these films when a film wins people are often like oh you know what I'm gonna go watch that movie or I'm gonna go check that film out and so if you have an award that's for movies that are, again, made with really low budgets, but a film wins, I think a lot of people would think, oh, you know what, I'm going to go and check out this indie film. I, and, and so I think, I think it'd be really good for the indie film world and just like the smaller budget films for there to be an award like this. So those are my categories that I would add Again, would love to know what you guys think in the comments, what you would take away, what you would add. If you think any of my ideas are complete trash, you can share that in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.